getting right into this look um, because I lost all of my footage of me unboxing this palette and yeah it sucks but I said why not go ahead and get this video out. I'm using this pencil brush from the Zover brush set that I mentioned in my Christmas haul video I believe. I will insert a card so you can check that out but um, yes right now I'm using this that very green color I showed you from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. It's, it's by BH Cosmetics. The only thing that I wasn't a fan of with this palette is that it does have a lot of fallout, which does come with BH products. I just hadn't purchased anything from them in a while, but I still love the palette nonetheless. Now I'm using this um, other green color. It has like a blue undertone to it, and I'm putting it right underneath the other green in my crease, and I am going to build these colors up, basically mimicking the my um, left side of my face my left eye <laughs> to be more specific but um yeah and then I had these lashes on that they were just on for dear life like I've never had my lashes to just not want to come off so I had to just roll with it and do my eyeshadow with them on as you can see it did create like a fallout on my eyelashes but I do try to correct it a little bit at the end now I'm cutting my crease using my MAC Pro Longwear concealer and I'm using brushes all from the Zova brush set and I have gotten really well I'm not gonna say really good but I've gotten much better <laughs> with cutting my crease now I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills translucent powder and I'm just using it to basically hold that concealer in place and to create a easier base for me to apply my other shadows and I'm just using different um, shimmer colors from this brush set. I mean, not the brush set, from the palette. I wasn't a too much of a big fan of the color payoff. Um, I feel like if I was using one of my Juvia's palettes, I would have had much of a, I would say, like, vibrant color, I would say. And I'm just taking the tape off. Um, I did have, like, a crisp line there, just getting any excess fallout right now. My makeup wipe. And also into another new product, which I mentioned this in my favorites video. It is the Maybelline Superstay. I've been using this foundation for probably close to a month now. But I don't know if I've used it in any makeup videos yet on my channel. I'm not really sure. But as you can see, it just goes on and glides on very smooth. And it is very matte. So it does dry down very matte. And it doesn't move at all. So I do love the coverage of it. i um, just patting it in with my beauty blender because... I love to make sure everything is just seamlessly blended out. Now I bring you back in on my lower lash. I'm just going in with that same green color that I use in my, I guess, upper crease area. Doing the same on this eye. Oh, also I do love that this palette came with a mirror. Um, I used that pretty much the whole video. So yay for that. I'm going in with that same shimmer color. To me, it was a little bit more brighter on my lower lash. Now I'm attempting this wing. It was a fail. So <laughs> what I did was like cut out all that footage because it was a fail. <laughs> a big fail. And I'm just like bronzing up my cheeks now. And my wing wasn't, it wasn't popping. It wasn't popping at all. <laughs> and just going in and Fixing up my brows a little bit. This brow here, eh, it doesn't look right looking back at it now. But just got to roll with it because that's what I recorded. And I was going in with my blush there. And I'm adding my highlighter from my um, ABH Glow Kit that I always use. I have all these products in the description and maybe like at the bottom of the screen here. But um, just using this as my highlighter. And adding the same color into my inner corner. And highlighting my face because this is my favorite part ever because we have to glow, glow, glow. And just, you know really setting the end panning into my skin so I can look like I'm just glowing from within <laughs> that's always my goal 
I'm using my um brown liquid lipstick and I'm just I use that to really line my whole lip and pretty much I put it over my entire lips except um I'm gonna go in right now with this pale pink color from ColourPop and I'm just adding that to give me an ombre like look and using my Max Fix Plus using this lash adhesive to set my brows in place okay, and we are all finished so that's gonna bring us to the end of this video hope that you all like this look it's very much so me even though I wouldn't wear probably these green this bright of a green color in my eyes but this look is like my favorite fall lip it's just um, like a brown brown liquid lipstick and a pale pink put in the middle to give it ombre effect and I am just so happy that I can do fall looks now um as you all know i stay in the south so it never gets like super super cold here until like october really sometimes it doesn't get cold until no november or december so fingers crossed the weather stays like this and as always remember to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching